Hi everyone and welcome to our demo of Pie Cracker version 1.0 Alpha by the Kernel Coding Phantoms aka Kevin Almeida, Chris Martin, and Pamela Bleve. We're first going to show you a web attack using Pie Cracker and currently as you see we just hit the start button and it's going to be progressing right this progress bar is indicating the time it takes to scan for local routers and devices in your area so it takes about a minute and a half to get to the end and once it does it will make a nice comprehensive list of all available routers to choose from to crack and their details so let's just give this another 30 seconds or so and it should finish And now that it is done, you can see all the available routers in our air. So Netgear is the router we're going to be cracking today, and that's number 23. So we click it, hit check. The encryption type is WEP, which is what we're going to crack. So now we're starting. It's going to go try to break in, attempting some fake authentication. And now it's going to start capturing some IVs. IVs are pretty much traffic or packets that are happening on the network currently. So the more traffic, the faster this could go. So it's just going to take about a minute or two for this demonstration, but it could take up to 10 minutes depending on the amount of traffic and the various amounts of attacks it needs to go through. So currently it is doing ARP replay, which is a type of attack towards the Netgear router. So this one seems to be generating a lot of IVs, aka traffic. So it's just staying with this one until it can't generate any more packets or until it gets to the point that it can crack. So we have to reach about 10,000 IVs before we'll start cracking the web password. So we're almost there, we're about 7,000, 8,000 IVs right now. So, which is way a little longer, should hit 10,000. There we go, it's hitting 10,000, so it's going to start the cracking process now. So we'll still continuously keep generating IV, capturing IVs and stuff to help with the cracking process, but once it hits 10,000 10, IVs, it'll be able to start cracking. So, at, so it's starting to crack with the 10,000 IVs while getting more. So in probably another 10 to 15 seconds, it should have enough IVs to fully crack it. So let's just wait a moment. Alright, and the attack is complete and we generated the web password. So now we're going to move on to pin attack. Pin attack is used on WPA or WPA2 routers. Um, so in this case we already started it, so it's already doing attacks and it succeeded with one of them. So a pin attack takes a very long time, so you just kind of, kind of have to let it sit there for a while. It's just a very brute force attack against the router. So we're not going to wait here to see it happen because it would take a very, very long time, but this is just showing that it's working and it is progressing at 0.01%. So now we're going to move on to capturing a handshake, which will be used to use a wordless or do a brute force attack. To do this, you also need to uh, be attacking a WPA or WPA2 encrypted router. So again, we're going to be progressing to find all the available routers in our area. And once that's done, we'll select our router, and this time it will have a WPA2 encryption. So the way this works pretty much is we're going to start talking with the router and trying to capture a handshake. And once that handshake is captured, it will generate a capture file, which we can use for the word list or the brute force attack. So we're almost at the end of the progress bar to select our router. Just give it a few seconds. Right, here we go. So in this case, our router again is number 23, so we're just going to select it, hit check. So now we have it as WPA2, so now we can choose pin attack like we saw before, or wordless or brute force attack. So in this case we're doing brute force. If we did wordless, it would do the same exact thing. It would go start trying to listen for a handshake, which is currently happening. So it found one client already. And it's trying to find a handshake on that client. So a client could be a router, uh, uh, not a router, a computer, 
phone or any other device connected to the router. So in this case, the more traffic and the more people connected to the router, the, the better chances of getting a handshake. So we found about three clients so far. So we're just listening, listening, trying to uh, de-authenticate the client. Oh, and we just succeeded. We got our handshake file. So now that we have our handshake file, we can move on to um, using a word list that we already downloaded. So we just browse for the word list and then you browse for the capture file that we just got from doing the, the capture handshake. And now, there we go. And now we're using a word list to break the WPA2 password. So it's using a crunch for aircraft right now to uh, break in using crunch also. So this is a preset word list that already has the password in it. So it's Martin 321 pretty quick, but since it's a very customized word list. So now we're going to do a brute force attack. In this case, you get to choose the password length uh, if we use lowercase, uppercase, or numeric filters. So again, we're going to go back to that capture file that we got before, hit open, and now it's going to do a brute force attack. This will take much, much longer because it starts with all ones and goes through every possibility for nine characters long using numbers, lowercase, and uppercase letters. So we're just going to let this run a little bit just so you can see it, but we're not going to stay here for the hours it could take to crunch this. But this is pretty much uh, our demo of Pi Cracker 1.0 Alpha. I know there's still a lot of work to do, but thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.